Hello and welcome to a bit of a different type of video. Um, as you know, my channel mainly focuses on mocks and Star Wars stuff. So you might be wondering, Sam, why are you making a video on LEGO City? When I first saw the pictures of the new LEGO City sets, um, there, most of them were just regular stuff that I don't find too interesting. Except for all of the sets that included these new um, uh, road base plates, those being set 60290, the skate park, as well as 60291, like the big house, like modern house type thing, and as well as the town centre, 60292, um, as well as the actual road plates set itself, 60304. Um, what these sets interested me about the most is the actual road plates themselves. Hence why I was particularly attracted towards just the road plate set itself. Um, and as you know, I don't really focus on the city. Every now and again I do like to build like an odd shop or something. Just in case, just in times when I might be burned out of Star Wars for the time being. But looking at these, I basically saw them how they would be useful to me. And in that case, I see them just as giant tiles. And I thought of a couple of uses where they could be really practical to a builder like me, who focuses on Star Wars stuff. If you look close up at these plates, you can see that basically every element relating to roads itself is removable. Like you can see these white lines down the middle are on tiles that can be popped out. Um, I think this crosswalk section is printed, so that one would be less useful to me. But for a majority of them, they're pretty good going. Not only does this set contain a bunch of 2x4 dark blue grey tiles, which, as any Star Wars mock builder would know, is very, very good <laughs> to get in quantity. They've also got these just large um, tiled off areas. And to me, I see these working perfectly if you need to cover a vast amount of space for space in tile. Um, which, especially for a lot of Star Wars builds like hangar bays or roofs of things, or just like large open spaces of ground, is really, really useful. And for minifigure placement... They do have certain tiles you can pop out where I guess I could just put jumpers on them to give me spaces to put figures and stuff. So yeah, I get that a lot of um, City fans aren't a huge fan of this because of the fact that they're two plates high, which means that they don't fit in line with like the modular build buildings or anything like that. And whilst they are, it is a little bit annoying that they are two plates high, I don't really see that as much of a hindrance because I just see how useful these could be to me in a Star Wars or really any setting. So, and I'm actually really excited to pick one up to see how they look working as tiles basically rather than roads. So that's about it for this video. I just wanted to explain why I'm actually quite excited for these roads where I know a lot of people aren't. Um. Let me know if you think that this is, if I'm on the right track with that, with this idea, or if I'm just being silly. Um, and let me know if you're interested in these new types of roads, if you want to use them as roads, or if you want to do a similar thing with me and use them for something different, because that's what LEGO's all about at the end of the day, really. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching this short little video. Um, if you like this video, like the video. Uh, comment, as I said before, if you think that this is a good idea and subscribe for more lego stuff i guess <laughs> uh thanks for watching once again and bye